Tree, Citizens Boston, and other passerby tourists. Welcome to and thank you for joining us today. We are City Spotlight, Team Leadership Program, a group of 63 artists and advocates from the Greater Boston area. We all came together for our passions for the arts. This year, our theme is the power of media and how it affects the image of perfection. The majority of the team leaders that we look up to spread awareness around real social challenges. We show young adults how you can advocate for social justice issues through creativity. This program has existed for nine years and has helped young adults express their concerns with social justice issues. It creates learning opportunities for everyone to connect, our empowers and make a change in the world. Growing up, I've always seen the struggle in school, especially in popular classes like math or science. But something that I've always understood is dance. I've been dancing since I was two years old, and it's become a part of who I am today. When I'm dancing, all my stress and my problems go away, leaving just me and the music. Dance keeps me active, social, and busy, and different styles of dance, like ballet, teach focus and discipline. Dance keeps me to look forward to, especially after hard dancing. So if the funding for my dance was taken away, I would be lost and I wouldn't have a safe place to go to. This would affect my personality, and it would affect how I perform my school. And a lot of people who use the arts for comfort, or even to cope with trauma, would have reacted to them. Art is a universal language, something that we can all connect and relate to. Taking that away would be like taking away the voices of those who are such a different person to As team leaders, we use our arts and talents to advocate for the youth, the oppressed, and those who lack the resources or ability to advocate for themselves. We do this by creating and leading programs, workshops, and performances throughout the city of Boston. During these workshops, we facilitate conversations that spark awareness about topics that impact the community. By the end of the summer, our conversations, workshops, and performances culminate to our conversation <coughs> showcase both for our three specialties. Act, music, and dance. <laughs> Art has helped me with my condition. Uh, I suffer from an autism called Asperger's Syndrome, and it impairs my ability to be social. By acting, I had to respond and react to the things my fellow actors were doing, which means I got to pick up on social cues and learn how to communicate in my regular life. Another thing that helped me with communication was writing music, because I had to be aware of my choice of words and their impact. Both forms of art were a way for me to express myself and to relate and connect to people my own age. And without it, I would be lost. We represent young artists in Boston who are trying to make social change through their arts. On that topic, we'd like to bring some things to your attention. Boston has a rich history that has showcased through its many art schools, museums, monuments, memorials, and more. Not only does this keep our culture alive, it also beautifies our city and brings in business through tourism and education. Arts is also a tool to keep people off the streets and out of the other possible violence, including the violence found online. Arts can prevent people from engaging in unhealthy behavior, such as street violence, substance abuse, and cyberbullying. In fact, a national study of the Youth Arts Development Project found that there was an increased ability for teens to work on tasks from start to finish, which is vital for both academic and vocational success. Participants also showed improvements in their self-esteem in school and their self-advocacy in our non-participating youth. During the past few years, I have been studying breaking the style of dance. In my years studying b-boy, I have made so many friends from different schools and even states. In addition, breaking competitions bring so many people from around the state and even the globe to bond over a common subject. I have been going to colleges such as Northeastern, MIT, and Tufts to practice alongside fellow talented dancers, and I've learned how this style of dance has impacted their lives differently. Finally. Breaking for me has been an escape from mental and emotional issues, helping me live daily, on a daily basis. We want to thank you for supporting the funding of the Massachusetts Cultural Council in these years past. We ask that you continue aiding the Massachusetts Cultural Council, or the MCC for short, by putting $18 million into arts funding in Massachusetts. This money will ensure that the state culture agency continues to provide grants and services. Along with those grants and services, artistic expression, cyberbullying prevention, and art and community centers. We believe that continuing the funds for arts is essential 
as it is also an economic driver all over Boston. It is present in our history and culture through our world class museums and tourist attraction and performing arts venue. This will ensure that the art will continue to impact the current and future generations. With that being said, <laughs> Representative, we have three questions we would love to ask you. Have the arts helped you, and if so, how? <laughs> uh, well, I, first of all, I have to just take a moment to say what an incredible uh, presentation so far. And we can see, I can see why you have chosen leaders amongst your peers uh, as for arts advocacy. And uh, it really is an amazing presentation. And I want you to know something. I just assumed this chairmanship. And uh, I can assure you that the message that you are sharing with me today will be spread throughout this building to my colleagues of both the House and the Senate. So thank you for that. And uh, how about a nice round of applause? So I, I, some of the remarks almost brought me to tears. And for me, arts, I have not nearly the level of sophistication that each one of you is showing at very young age. But for me, the arts have impacted my life from all the way from elementary school up until today. And, uh, you know, as chair of the committee, working with individuals like uh, Joe Spaulding and Ernie Bob, we're, uh, we're able to help spread this message of the importance that arts plays uh, in our society, in your young lives, but not commonwealth in our country. So uh, it has had an impact and it's going to continue to have an impact. I, I do. I think the arts can help people with uh, all, uh, of all abilities. Um, I, I believe that it makes a difference. It's really what gives us uh, the, uh, the quality of life. You know, we look at the arts uh, and, and the different mediums that we have, especially here in the city of Boston and our Commonwealth, the uh, vast uh, examples that we have all, all across our state. Uh, I think it makes a difference in the lives of young and old, and those of our able and disabled. So uh, keep doing what you're doing and keep aspiring to uh, make the world a better place and this Commonwealth a better place through the arts. As chairperson of the Joint Committee on Arts, Culture, and Development, and Tourism, would you agree that the arts have a positive impact on tourism in Boston? Absolutely, and I think one of your colleagues or peers mentioned that it has an economic impact. So we know that one of the things that we are looking at is I think we take all of the, the, the art sector for granted. So one of the roles that I want to have you join with me and I'll be working with people at the foundation is to make sure that we raise the awareness and the importance and the economic impact that the arts have. Um, again, not only to the quality of life, but to the workforce uh, here in the Commonwealth. And I'm going to depend on all of you to help me continue to share that message. We'd like to thank you, Representative Nick Rotary, for your past contributions to the arts. We hope that you consider this new proposal, which in turn will improve the arts and culture around Boston. As a youth, we come to ask for your help to meet that change. On that note, we'd also like to invite you to our show. This year's theme is... Hi! Yeah, it's done with all the hard work and passion of the arts of everyone you see before you. We hope this 
heard in that song that they wrote. And in a week, they were able to have uh, get this together. And last week, we actually were visited by the chairman of the NDA and helped to fund this program as well. So we were the only organization that gave us this So congratulations. Thank you. 